Bernai Telong Crater Banir Marai Regency, Asa, Indonesia. Some tourists have a particular purpose in exploring tropical countries like Indonesia, which is to enjoy natural adventures. In this case, visiting Bernai Telong Crater would be a good idea for these people. The location is in Banir Marai Regency and it belongs to Asa Province, Indonesia. In a nutshell, Bernai Telong is an active volcano and it becomes an interesting place for exploration and hiking. People also come to the location to enjoy photography, in fact. Despite its active status, the volcano doesn't stop tourists from coming and exploring the site. Are you interested? The Nuance The main charm of Bernai Telong Crater is definitely the scenery. The mountain has the height of about 2,624 meters above the sea level and there are two ways to get to the crater. The first route starts from Central Village in the southeast slope. Another route is located on the southwest slope, which is accessible from Bandar Lampahan. Most of the Vizi stores use the second route when it comes to trekking, though. It takes about three to four hours to reach the crater. Along the way to the top, you might pass through a forest and local coffee plantations too. Exploring Bernai Telong Crater Many types of activities can be done in Bernai Telong, especially trekking and enjoying natural attractions. For those who love to explore unique plants, they can enjoy a good time there for sure. The reason is none other than the presence of wild orchids, which can be found before the Edelweiss field. Before reaching the crater, do not forget to visit a small cave near to such field too. Due to the presence of those natural attractions, all tourists should not forget to carry a camera when exploring or hiking. Trekking is the main activity for tourists to enjoy in Bernai Telong Volcano. The fact is that the mountain belongs to the top 10 highest mountains in Asa province. No wonder, lots of people are interested to get a new experience on the site by exploring the mountain. Both beginners and experts are allowed to come to the site, after all. As long as they come with proper equipment and ample supplies, everything is fine. For a safer and more efficient trekking, though, it is recommended to come with a tour guide. In terms of name, it means Burning Mountain or Gunung Terbaker. The thing is the volcano hasn't erupted yet recently, and the government gives much attention to its activities considering the potential damage it might cause in the future. As for tourists, the mountain becomes a challenging place to explore, though. Despite it provides an interesting landscape for trekking, everyone should pay attention to the route and should come with a good stamina. Also, it requires good concentration to conduct trekking there.